I'll do a uh, Blue Road Rodeo song that uh, Greg Keeler wrote about a Port Hope. Blue Dog? That's the uh, That's the one. here just waking up in the morning sun they've been sleeping on the water's surface they're in the process of ingesting radioactive material as they feed and as they bathe themselves and and drink and they will be carrying that material to the southern reaches of the continent as they go south for the winter and the radioactivity they carry will be spread to places quite a ways distant from Port Hope uh, I'm Dr. Linda Harvey, and I'm working with Physicians for Global Survival, which is an organization that's dedicated to uh, addressing the health issues, global health issues, that are coming from the nuclear industry. My name is Patricia Lawson. Uh, perhaps some of the newer members on the commission do not know that I was appointed by the town of Port Hope as the first chair of the Environmental Advisory Committee. It was a dramatic year. It was the year that the East UF6 flag burst into flames. It, it's a criminal shame because it's going into Lake Ontario and uh, is taken up by the biota there that uh, we don't know there's a lot that's a mystery but what we do know is this plant has got to move out of here and the sooner the better okay thank you thank you um, you see Lawson, I just would like to hear uh, about the uh, what it uh, Tamco care uh, cares about uh, health. Oh, chemical. Yeah, not me. <laughs> Howdy. We've been getting that all day. <laughs> Have you been around here all day? Uh, all over. 
Although, we, can you say testing, testing? Testing, testing. Yeah. Testing, testing. Yeah, um, it's, a, uh, it's a bit of an icebreaker, <laughs> yeah. I like um, it. We're actually doing an in, uh, a documentary on the Cameco hearings right now. Oh, interesting. Uh, do you, did you know they're applying for a five-year renewal? Uh, no, there's always lots of write-ups, so I haven't heard all the latest gossip, but... Um, and uh, do, you, do you feel that uh, low levels of radiation are safe? I'm still deciding. Still deciding. So do you know what the Vision 2010 project is? Um, they're trying to move the radioactive material. The, from, from the harbor? Yeah, from one site to another, I guess. And um, are you concerned that it's going to get airborne and into your lungs? Been looking into that a little more, so yeah, a little worried. And do you have kids? Yes, I do. Uh, what ages? I've got a five-year-old and a nine-year-old. My Most of my family lives up on the street right across from Kamiko and, and has their whole lives. And uh, no health problems in your family? A lot of health problems. Like what? My mother is actually terminally ill with cancer right now. Um, my grandfather died just three years ago. My aunt has skin cancer who's lived up here her whole life. The family's got a lot of diabetes, a lot of health problems. I have MS myself. So have you... Um ever thought there might be a relationship to the living across from Cameco? Uh, we, we've thought about it. Never never come to a, a complete answer on that though. Um, and uh, how do you think you could find an answer? Uh, I think all of Poor Hope is still wondering that. Yeah. Um, and what do your doctors say? Our doctors say that there's really no link that our our cancer rates are the same here as anywhere else. Do you believe them? Um, I don't know yet. I, I still don't feel educated enough to okay. make assumptions. Yeah, okay. And um, do you find that there's, that, what did that, the kid say? That, you know, you'll be kind of ostracized if you speak up against Cameco in the city? Oh, definitely. I think there's people that feel that way. Feel I that think. What way? I think that money can uh, can hide you. I think that people that don't have money, they might be a little scared to speak out. Okay, thank you. Um Zach's doing a documentary on uh, Port Hope, the whole nuclear thing and... Right on. And, uh... <coughs> yeah, I see they're actually going to do a real cleanup here now. Something like keep that. talking about it. Yeah. But the federal government's said something now, too, actually. Well, have, have they, they, they not? I think so. Been... I hope they're going to reimburse us for any... Um... Sure, like my hair loss and all that. Right? For your hair loss sure. and, and my eventual hair loss and yes. the fact that my house is probably yeah. going to... Actually, since I bought it two years ago, I'm I'm, it's I'm, dropped in price. Since I've frequented Port Hope more often, I'm getting like less and less hard on I don't know if, you know... I don't think... Is this a family time uh, documentary that you're doing, Zach? Oh, this, is, this is like weapons of mass destruction, if weapons you call that. Okay, so, uh, so you're recording this. Oh shit, man! I should have recognized that thing. God Almighty! No, I told you he's doing yes. a documentary. Yes, I didn't. I thought that was like a light meter. I, I know what it is now. For Christ's sake! Well, you're you're regretting that hard on yes. yeah, Exactly. Yeah. yeah. I should have said I'm I'm drooling more often than I used to. <laughs> anyway, not the all. But anyway, not so part so nice of the
40, 50 years ago somewhere that a subdivision's been built on, a high school's been built on, who knows, an arena. You know what I mean? Says something. But anyway, I'm just I'm just like really speculating here. I'm not I don't know anything. You know, but maybe that's what the big secret is. I have no idea, you know. Let me ask a technical question. Can somebody tell me is there any way to turn off the sun? <laughs> because we really cannot see a thing here. I, I guess the answer is no. Um, we'll have to live with it. So you talk to me, Bill. You ask a question already? Yes, while you were being blinded, I think the staff was trying to decide who would answer. Go ahead, please. Betsy Thompson, for the record, we're actually waiting for the sun to come down. But... And I've got a lot of good information, but whether I can get it out or not remains to be seen. I can tell you that the decision's already been made to give Chemical their, their license. This is just a political window dressing sort of theater uh, to, to make people think that we're part of a democracy and that what we say counts. Um, so they're just trying to go through the motions to make it look like there's, there's uh, you know, uh, evidence that could be presented that could change things. Well, it's sort of the same old, same old. We all have heard all this before. Uh, I get very upset when they say that there's been no significant adverse health effects in the past in Port Hope and they don't expect any in the future. In my mind, that is a criminal statement. Well, from a Northern Ontario perspective, some surprises to find that the preliminary decommissioning plan is to send all the decommissioning waste from Port Hope to Northeastern Ontario. Blind River. Uh, that's a surprise. Not a welcome one. The province right now is intending to, or it's planning to, uh, rebuild four reactors at Bruce Power, four reactors at Darlington, and build two new reactors. So we're talking, or two to four new reactors. So we're talking to 10 to 12 new reactors, new and rebuilt reactors in Ontario, which would extend the life of nuclear and commit us to another six decades of nuclear power generation and then that much more nuclear waste that we have to deal with. Port Hope doesn't have postcards. If you look everywhere, you can find postcards of cities of everywhere else in Canada except Port Hope. Why, why do you think that is? Because Port Hope is tiny and terrible. <laughs> It's not terrible. Close. Why? There's nothing here. <laughs> nothing here, no. yeah. Nothing. There's a, there's Cameco. That's just great. That's about it, though. Like, seriously, look around town. There's, like, no stores. Okay, there's here, but, you know. Um, what do you think of Cameco? <sighs> Redundant waste of space. <laughs> Mainly, I don't know. It's pretty much my opinion on it. Do you think it. that the low-level radiation is something to worry about? No, not at all. As someone who's lived here my whole life and still isn't glowing green, I don't think it's that much of a concern. Like, I don't think it's enough that we should uproot the town, blah, blah, blah. But, I mean, it could be of a concern later. I just don't think now it is. Um, but what, is there anything, like, even if it's safe, are, are you, like, is Cameco still not the best to be around? No. I mean, not just because it's aesthetically unpleasing, but it's, it's pretty gross. I mean, when you take a walk by the beach, all you see is these big drums of radioactivity. That's just great. Waterfront. No. <laughs> Those waste into the lake and stuff like that. How gross? Pretty gross. Like, you can't even swim in there anymore. Uh, they say it's safe to sort of move all the waste up near the high school and all those places. Do you believe that it's safe? No, it's not. Not good for the kids or anything. And uh, is it hard to, to say things like that in this town? Uh, not really. <laughs> Why? Well, people say it anyway? Yeah, a lot of people say it. And uh, would you, what, what's your hope for that? Are you just going to uh, move out of here when you can? Or? Yeah, possibly. I want to get out of this town very quickly. Well, how old are you now? Uh, 15. 15? Have you lived here all your life? Uh, pretty much most of my life. Where, where do you want to go when you move away? Uh, I want to move to like California or somewhere like that. Yeah, why California? Uh, it's just nice, warm, cold weather. Uh, just 
just good. What, uh, uh, what do you like about living in Port Hope? What do I like about living in Port Hope? Yeah. What a small town. And what do you not like about living in Port Hope? It's a small town. <laughs> what about Cameco? Cameco? What about it? I don't really know too much about it. Yeah. Uh, do, you, what is it, do you know what it produces? Yes. What? Uranium. And uh... They run the plant. They run the plant? What do they produce? Oh. <laughs> um... Uranium? What? What do, what do they teach you what uranium is in schools? No, not really. Um, what, do you know what uranium is used for? Um, not really. Is it dangerous? Yeah, probably. Why do you say it's dangerous? Um, all I know is that, like, on the news, um, St. Mary's closed down because of radioactive waste. Did anyone from St. Mary's get sick? No. No. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Thanks very much. Thanks. Hey. Well, it's disgusting. Yeah. Is it hard to get around on the, the scooter? Yes, it is. Um, is this your daughter? Yes, it is. Hi. It's like way up there. Oh, sorry. And just just a question, Cameco, They say they say it's safe. Is that true? As far as I know, yes. Okay. Do you, do you mind my asking um, why you're in a um, the scooter? Uh, I have MS, but uh, they found out I also have CCSVI, so they don't know which one I have, kind of thing. And do you think that there's any relation to the radi radiation exposure? Probably, but I, I wasn't raised here. I was raised in Toronto, uh -huh. in Oshawa. And when, when did you, you, in Oshawa? Yeah. Is that where you were raised? In Toronto and Oshawa, yeah. And when did you move here? And 10 years ago. Okay, thank you. So the hearings, did they? No, it went exactly as I figured it would go. I can't see anything exciting about it. It just was what normally is. So anyway, we got to go. It, was, was it? Uh, was it? Um, was it emotional? No, just right on. Nothing, nothing to get me emotional. It was dead on what I expected. Take care. Uh, no, I'm just uh, actually heading back in. Okay. Can I just ask, uh, what? How did the hearings go? Uh, I thought they went fine. I'm, I'm Patrick Burton. I'm with the CNSC. For me, they were good. And what do you do for the CNSC? I work in international safeguards. It's uh, real simply non-proliferation and nuclear weapons. And uh, what, what's your educational background? I have a mechanical engineering. Mechanical engineering. And uh, w uh, are, do you uh, at, at any time do you sort of like doubt the position of the CNSC? I probably shouldn't, uh, without our public relations people, talk about the position of the CNC. Okay, thank you. No worries, man. If you're sure you don't want to live somewhere. No, we're good. Alrighty, have a good one. One question. One, one question, Mr. Vinder, one question. Uh, everything is locked. Everything. Uh, 